Bob, <coughs> pardon me, uh, Bob Auden. I'm uh, representing the Libertarian Party of Minnesota. Um, we find this to be a very dangerous bill. Uh, the problem it seems to be correcting is, is that it's trying to assist voters because voters don't vote for judges. But when you go to the, the, the problem really is, is that our judges are appointed rather than elected, even though we have this so-called election. Uh, the governor appoints them midterm. Uh, the judges don't complete their term. And then when they come up for election at, at the next election cycle, uh, we have the word incumbent on the ballot. And no lawyer wants to run against an incumbent because if they lose, there's going to be retribution. So that's why there's no one else on the ballot. Uh, and people really don't want to vote for these positions because they don't know anything about them. Uh, if uh, the Minnesota Supreme Court would simply allow information uh, to be uh, given to the public, well, then this, uh, this could be remedied. Uh, the, uh, and we know that this does work because in this last election cycle, uh, where there was an actual open seat created, so there was no incumbent judge. We had about 25 people running for that slot. Uh, so you don't have just the one person running. You had a whole slew of people running. Uh, and people did know about these judges. They got out. They were able to talk about themselves to some extent. Uh, and, and, and that's good. That's a check and balance on the judiciary. Because we know that there are people out there, uh, and, and since the Minnesota Supreme Court has lost cases concerning elections here in Minnesota at the U.S. Supreme Court, we know they're not particularly good at interpreting the Constitution. Uh, otherwise, they would have lost these cases. Mr. Uh, Oden, I'd encourage you, just as I did previous testifiers, to keep your comments directed to the bill, please. Well, I am, because the Minnesota Supreme Court here is, is going to be helping to determine who the judges are going to be, uh, how they're going to be evaluated. Uh, and they have a bias. I mean, judges are simply politicians in black robes. So they're going to be, among other politicians, determining exactly who we're, we're going to have for judges. And, uh, you know, if they don't like somebody's opinion, uh, like, say, they... Uh, they know somebody's for the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Well, they're, they're simply never going to be sitting on the courts. The court will be stacked. Uh, was it, and they're going to get preferences, like, say, to minorities. Well, minorities vote Democrat. Uh, so th these people are going to be uh, uh, basically uh, hold the uh, opinions of the, the Democrat Party. Uh, and I certainly know that libertarians will never be included among minorities. Uh, the judicial performance evaluation, which has to be approved by the Minnesota Supreme Court, I mean, it's all subjective. Uh, the, uh, what was it, being punctual? I mean, that's really laughable. Or the uh, uh, communication skills? Uh, no, the... The real problem is, is, is just simply uh, is, is the uh, Minnesota Supreme Court. Uh, if they would simply allow us to have free judicial elections in the state of Minnesota, then we would have uh, voters that were informed. We would have uh, people that would actually be voting on these positions. Uh, and I know that the, this amendment is being considered because the Minnesota Supreme Court has lost at the U.S. Supreme Court, and, and so they want to rectify that by passing this amendment so that it can go back to the old way of doing things, where uh, judges didn't have to uh, uh, run for re-election. They were appointed based on campaign contributions or whatever. Uh, it's all about power, uh, money, and control. Uh, and I strongly urge the committee here to uh, vote this amendment down. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Odin.